So how can you tell if you have either of those issues and what can you do to protect yourself outside? Meteorologist Marielle Ruiz has those answers for us. Yes, we've dealt with this crazy heat the past 24 hours. It's August in Arkansas, and we are going to continue to see this for at least the next 24 hours. So here are a few tips. You want to stay hydrated, limit your time outdoors, light clothing and the sunscreen, because on top of the heat, we're dealing with a high UV index. That means if you leave your skin unexposed for any period of time, you're going to burn pretty easily, especially if you have sensitive skin. Don't forget about the pets, limit their time outdoors as well, and walk early or late in the day, and always look for signs of heat exhaustion with anybody around you. The American Heart Association actually put out this graphic for heat stroke. You want to look for headache, nausea, vomiting, hot and dry skin, even in some instances, unconsciousness, rapid pulse, confusion. That's when you call 911, get someone inside, and cool them off. And for pets, Anytime it gets over 95 degrees, that's what we're dealing with with temperature on concrete and on asphalt. So keep the pets in mind. Keep yourself safe over the next few days. We do see relief on the way soon. That cool front comes in. Temperatures drop into what's considered average for this time of year midweek. Good information to know there. If you need a place to escape the heat, the city of Little Rock has four community cooling centers open both today and tomorrow. Dunbar, East Little Rock, Southwest and the West Central Community Centers are all open each day from 9 to 6. There's water available, seats and the air conditioning will be on full blast. You'll need it. It's a free resource for anyone who needs it and volunteers say all you have to do is stop by.